Hey guys, Will here with Media Place, and in this video we're going to talk about how the generate page works. All right, so the generate page allows you to generate random shapes, backgrounds, and gradients that you can use for your projects. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at this. All right, so when you first open up the generate page, you'll see that at the top you have a set of selections, right? So here's where you can rename the file that you're working on, right? So right now it says generated, but maybe I want this to be for my website, so I can call this, uh, we can call it website BG, right? Website background. And then of course, here's where you can save your image when you're done. And then you can also have the option to drag this into a folder, which we'll demonstrate in a little bit. Now, if I move to the right hand side, this is where I can generate different styles of the visual that I'm looking at, as well as I can save as a PNG or an SVG. And then I can also adjust the size of my canvas, right? So if I open up this drop down menu, uh, right now it's set to full HD, but I could save in 4K, I could go to standard HD, I can go square or, or vertical for different social media platforms. So a lot of options within Media Place to set your canvas size, right? So we're just gonna keep it at full HD for right now. And then of course you have the option to adjust the position of your object in here, right? Your shape. So I can go top left, top right, center, uh, bottom right or bottom left. Now, whenever I choose one of these different templated backgrounds already, it does provide me with different options, right? So right now we're on this kind of pink circle right here. So from there, I may want to just make this centered for now, right? But then I can change the color mode, whether I don't want it to be solid, linear, or do I want it to be radial? Um, and then I can change the background of this image into itself, right? So maybe I want it to be white, right? So I can do that. And then I do have the option to change these colors in between, right? So depending on if I had a solid color or if I, I only get one choice for my color of the shape, but if I open up the linear, I then have two options, right? And then same thing with radial. Right, so then I can come in here and I can change these colors um, however I want them to be, right? So maybe I wanna go more of this yellow here that's then bleeding out. And I want this to be a little more red, right? So then I can kind of find that tone there that I want. So really cool features. And then you can change the complexity of the shape, right? So if I drag it up, kind of adjust the shape complexity or I can bring it down and make it more rounded out. Um, and then you can adjust the size as well. So some pretty cool features in here kind of generate some really quick backgrounds on the fly, right? So now let's move on to the secondary um, shape here. And this one's more of a wave, right? And it's kind of the wave is set kind of lower in the frame here. But from here, you get some of the similar options, but you can adjust the parameters of the position, right? So I can go maybe, I want this to be at the top or at the bottom or on the left over here or on the right. So it allows you to customize the shapes for uh, depending on what it is that you're trying to create your background for, right? And then of course you can change the waves to be peaks and then you can also have them be steps as well, right? And then from there you can change the color modes just like in the other option there, you can go linear or radial as well, right? And then you do have the options to change the colors. I'm gonna go back to waves and let's go back to the standard view here. And from here you can change the height, right? So I can make these a little higher I can change the complexity too. So it's a really cool and fun way to kind of generate backgrounds and even just generate ideas for the projects that you may have. And then of course we can adjust the contrast here too, which is really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next template here. And this one is a similar, it's waves too, and you get the same options as well from changing position, um, different directions to adjusting the waves to be peaks, which we'll leave them at. And then we can adjust the colors as well. Um, you know, maybe we wanna go with this more pink color here or maybe we wanna go with this uh, brighter red, and then we wanna change color too to something similar, maybe kind of this little fiery orange slash yellow color. All right, and then we can also adjust the complexity, right? Depending on what we're trying to do, or just get inspired with creative ideas, right? Just the contrast, maybe give a little more waves. And you can also click on the generate button, and it will then kind of create some generated versions for you, um, just to kind of give you some inspiration too, right? You can also click on the actual template down here as well, and that will generate it as well. All right, so if I move to the next section, um, you'll see that it's a it's a full framed wave view, right? And then I can also adjust the positions uh, with only two options here. And then again, I can choose either peaks or steps. So let's go ahead and choose steps for now. And then I can change the colors from here as well. So we can go to a slightly off variant there, and we'll leave the blue there. And again, you can change the complexity of these to change the square complexity. Um, go with the contrast to adjust that a little bit. And then of course you can adjust the, the waves in there as well. All right, so now we have two more options to look at here. Now let's look at this one and it allows you to adjust shapes within your backgrounds, right? So if I look up here on the top right, you'll see that I have a shape option. And if I click on it, 
I can see that I'm prompted with a list of different shapes that I can then choose from. So let's say I wanted to go with this Apple Watch because I'm working on a promo ad, right? I can then select that and then I can change the color of my background. I can have it be white again, or I can have it be fitting to something that fits the image itself. And then of course I can also change the color of that and I could make that, maybe make this white now so it, it pops off the background a little better, right? And of course you can increase the count or decrease it, adjust the contrast, um, go with the size. So maybe you want it to be larger or you want it to be a little small and then the rotation of them you can adjust there as well. And then of course you can have it generate different options for you um, and maybe you don't know what you really want, but just to kind of see different things, you can do that as well. And then we have one last option here in the templates under for generate. And that's more of a solid background here, but it also allows you to basically have kind of this gradient kind of look. So I can change the colors here as well. So I can click on color one and then maybe I want to drag it down to this more green color. And then I can go to color two and shift it to where it's a little off there as well. But there's a slight uh, gradient going on. Um, so there's a lot of different options that you can choose from, right? So we've gone through all the different cool templates for the generate feature and as well as in each one of these guys, you can customize and make them however you like and then hit generate and that will allow you to generate different options for different fields that you might want. All right, so now let's go ahead and export this out so we can see how we can save this and utilize it for future use. All right, so I'm gonna go to the top here and let's just call it background or BG. And since the background's black, we'll just call it black. All right, and now what I can do is I can either click save here or I can create a folder over here and drag this into the folder. So let's go ahead and do that now. So right now I've got a folder and I've got no name into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click that and hit rename and let's just call this backgrounds. All right. So now what I can do is I can come over here and left click and drag into my backgrounds folder. And then the file has been saved. All right. So now let's go back up to our library and you'll see that I'm in my backgrounds folder. And here is my black background with the cool orange kind of yellow gradients going on with the waves. All right. So that's how you can kind of customize your generate page backgrounds and kind of make them your own and utilize them for anything that your project needs may have. Right. So now what I can do is I can double click on this and it takes me to the edit page right now it's an svg that i saved so now because of that i'm able to go back in and, and kind of edit those colors so maybe you know what i have a black background with this maybe i need a white one right so i can go in here and i can click on this color here open up the color tab and then go to white right so super fast and super efficient way to quickly change colors on the fly maybe the color of my web page is changing so i need to adjust it as i go quick way to do this right i can also go in here and change each color of the waves as I need to, because this is an SVG, which is another powerful feature within Media Place. Now, if I wanna save this out, what I can do now is now that I have a, a, black, a, a background black, I can save it as a background white, right? And then I can just click save here. And then it will go ahead and save out a version of that. If I exit out of this editor page here, here is the white version and here is the black, right? All right, so there's one more thing I wanna show you. And that's if you convert this to a JPEG or a PNG, or maybe that's what you exported it out as, you can then edit that and add some text to it or add some images on top to maybe mock up something to show a client real quick for a project that you may have. So what I'm gonna do is if I click on this SVG right here, maybe I'm gonna do it on the black one, right? I go over here to actions real fast and I come to images. I can then come over to convert and I can say, let's convert this to a JPEG and let's go 100% and then we can save it as a new right next to that one, right? So here is my JPEG version, right? So if I double click in here, I now have the option to add different elements, right? So again, more powerful features within Media Place that allow you to create and generate backgrounds using the generate feature, but then turn them into things that you can then show clients and then manipulate and edit to kind of help your creative flow, right? So again, I could come in here, add some text right there. I can come in here and search up for images, add some shapes, maybe adjust the color brightnesses if I need to, but a lot of cool and powerful ways to do this. And then from here, of course, I could save this as my background black with text, right? And then I could save that out here and it'll go into this backgrounds folder. And if I exit out of here, you'll see there it is with the added text in there, right? So a lot of options within Media Place, a lot of cool features that kind of help your workflow and help you stay organized. All right, so that was an in-depth look at the generate function inside of Media Place. Stay tuned for future videos. And as always, keep creating.